Congo crisis, in a nutshell. Since 1996, over six million people have died in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, so that we, in the Western world, can benefit from its resources. Congo is extremely rich in gold, diamonds, copper, cobalt, tin, uranium, coltan, and many other precious minerals. Congo has 64% of the Earth's coltan, a precious mineral that is needed for our modern electronics like iPhones, iPads, computers, laptops, PlayStations, Xboxes, Nintendos, jet engines, inkjet printers, and the list goes on and on. In 1946, the Strategic Minerals Stockpiling Act was passed to obtain and stockpile cobalt. With the largest reserves of cobalt on the planet, Congo was targeted. Cobalt is a strategic and critical mineral that is essential for our aerospace, military, and defense industries. As the United States and the United Kingdom provide financial aid and military aid to countries such as Rwanda and Uganda, these neighboring countries plunder Congo's natural resources as the death toll rises. In four studies, the United Nations implicated multinational companies in sourcing coltan from Congo, stating that these companies serve as the engine of the conflict in the DRC. As the world benefits from Congo's riches, Congolese men, women, and children continue to be raped, tortured, starved, displaced, and killed. In 2010, a leaked United Nations report cited crimes of genocide may have been committed by the Rwandan troops. There is very little media coverage on what is actually happening in Congo. When Congo is covered by the media, it is often about rebel groups committing mass atrocities. What these reports do not cover are the funding, training, and the arming of these rebel groups by foreign governments. Nothing is ever mentioned about the Western-backed coups, wars, assassinations, or the involvement of foreign corporations in the looting of Congo. Forty-eight women are raped every hour. Millions are displaced, over six million dead, half are children under the age of five. What is happening in Congo is a silent holocaust.